Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today we're diving into something that's been highly requested for a long time. A reliable, truly free server provider that gives uptime, router access and the best part requires no credit card. That's right, no hidden fees, no credit card sign up, just a fully functional server that you can keep running. And I think I finally found a solution worth sharing. I know there's a couple of videos already out there, but we're taking this step further. I'll show you not only how to get root access on this server, but also how to configure it to run indefinitely. Yes, I'm going to cover every step of the process in detail, so you can feel confident in setting up this server for long term use. Quick disclaimer, if you're watching this video a week or more after its release, keep in mind that things can change with free services. If you run into any issues that I don't address here, reach out to my support channel that's available in my Discord server link of the server down below. Also, if you're looking for microservice for things like running Discord bots, lightweight applications, or setting up a mini Ubuntu server, my hosting that is currently in beta might just be what you need. You'll also find the link to that down below. Alright, let's get into the setup. First, open up a browser, Chrome, Firefox, or whatever you prefer. Head to MarsCode official website at MarsCode.com. I'd like to know in the comments if anyone has any issues with certain browsers. Once on the mask code site, you'll need to sign up. You have a few different options here. You can use Google, GitHub, or just create a username and password with any email address. It's straightforward, it only takes a minute. Once your account is set up, it will prompt, it will prompt you to choose a username. Feel free to be creative, but remember this username will represent you on the platform. Now, let's start creating a project. Go to the top left of the web page and click the blue plus project button. You'll be asked to select a language. I've used Python consistently in my tests as it's highly compatible and works well for server tasks, but mask code does offer multiple languages. So if you are looking for variety or better performance, feel free to explore these options. Now that we're in the IDE, you'll notice it has a terminal, which we'll focus on, as well as a text editor for coding. You can resize the terminal to make it more visible. I'd recommend expanding it since we'll be mainly using the terminal for this setup. Now, here's a little tip for those that might want to host a simple website instead. Mask code offers a deploy feature that allows you to easily push website code and even lets you attach on your own domain for free. It's a great option for anyone who wants to host a small website without extra costs or configuration. But let's get back to our main goal here, setting up a server. Head back to the terminal and enter the command sudo su to gain root access. Once you're in root, you might notice a problem. APT commands don't work by default on mask code, meaning you can't install anything right away. This could be a deal breaker, but don't worry, I've got a fix for that. What we're going to do is that we're going to bypass the restrictions. To enable APT access, I've, I've put together a special link that you'll find on my Discord server. I haven't directly made it, but Hey, you got me. You can copy and paste this link directly into your terminal and it'll set up an APT access for you. It's a bit more complicated than that. What happens really is that it's going to run um, a server in the server that gives you uh, literally pseudo access. It's nothing illegal, it's just P root for those that want to be. Uh, that's a bit more interested in that. This overall configuration will allow you to install packages like wget, curl and even python 3 which are all essential for building a functional server environment. It's a straightforward process but if you have any issues you can reach out on my discord server 
the channel that's called support is always available just do not ping me i will not reply if you ping me if you don't ping me and i see i will reply back hey you got me while i was finishing the editing for the video um i just reminded myself that um there was someone in the discord server that was talking about um uh carbonyl as a cli chrome uh, unfortunately, I won't have time to actually look deeper into it since for this video. Although if we hit 669 likes, I will make a part 2 where I'm going to try this um, CLI on multiple different um, hostings and free stuff like that to see if actually we can make the 24-7 machines out of this feature. So thank you Tech128, you're the boss. Now, with root access and the APT functionality enabled, you've basically got everything you need to turn mask code instance into a fully functional server. Next thing we're going to want to address is uptime, making sure this server stays active and accessible. Mask code setup is actually fantastic for this. They have no monthly usage limits, meaning as long as your server stays active, there's no actual cap on how long you can keep it running. This is where my 247.py script comes in. You'll find the script on my Discord server as well, as it's designed to keep the server awake by running a random background action. It performs tasks like installing and removing non-essential packages, checking system information with commands like neo-fetch and more. These background actions trick this server into staying active indefinitely, even if you aren't interacting with it directly. You can actually modify the 27, you can actually modify 247.py to fit your own needs. Wanted to perform different actions or check specific services, go ahead and customize the script. Just be mindful that if you adjust the actions, they should still create activity on the server to keep it awake. Now that we've got 247.py running to help keep the server alive, we're going, to, we're going to add two more scripts to make sure the setup is rock solid. Head back to my Discord server and download country.counts.py and copy the sshx script. Here's how the script works. Counts.py acts like a backup active session to keep the server awake. Think of it as another layer of activity to keep everything running smoothly. The second script, sshx, will allow you to open multiple terminals on the same server, which can make the whole experience manageable, especially if you're multitasking or troubleshooting. To set these up correctly, start by pasting count.py script in a terminal and run it. After that, open a new terminal session and paste in the sshx script. This order is important. Start with the count.py first, then run sshx in a new terminal to make sure everything is connected and functioning properly. One thing to keep in mind as well is that running this server indefinitely means you'll need to troubleshoot any issues that may come up. During my test, I ran this setup and I'm happy to report that it held up without any issues. If you're looking to keep it running for longer, make sure to join the Discord where I'm sharing fixes to any known problems you might encounter. So to recap this whole video, you've got access to the to a root that gives you apt commands enabled, a script to maintain uptime, and you're essentially getting a powerful customizable server with 32 cores and 64 gigabytes of RAM for free. It's ideal for hosting applications, running automation tasks, or even learning purposes if you're looking to get into server management without committing financially. And that's it. If you run into issues or just want to talk about other server hosting options, head to my Discord. And if you're searching for a mini server solution, my hosting service might be exactly what you need. It's in better and we're focusing on affordability and the ease of use, so to be sure to check it out if you're interested. Of course, nothing is paid. Everything on my on my hosting is free. It works without a, it works on a system of coins. I'll let you check everything out if you're interested. 
If you found this video useful, please consider hitting a like and subscribing for more tech tips and server tutorials. I'm always looking for suggestions, so leave a comment if there's another service you'd like me to review. All links included in my Discord and hosting service are in the description below. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. Ciao, bye.